What'd you think of Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the first Ah, the best skateboarding game ever, ever of all time. What did you think oh. about Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the PlayStation? I think this is the best Here PlayStation video game ever made. I give it a 9.2. You've got two player, you've got customized, build your own skate park. I love this thing, 10 out of 10. All right, let's talk about this Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 game that Activision has basically gifted us with in 2020. And boy, is this a game that we need this year. Uh, this was actually something that I was really hoping for. I actually made a video of all kinds of games that I really wanted the games industry to make for us. And Tony Hawk 1 and 2 Remastered was one that I wanted. This couldn't have turned out better. And there is a massive amount of features that point to the reason why you should pick this game up. And, you know, I've been talking about how incredible this game is all over social media, so don't look at this review as some kind of big surprise about how I feel about Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. This is extraordinary, and you should pick this up no matter what platform you could play this on. It's an amazing game. I've been playing it on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we will dig into the features a little bit. Of course, you've got all of the content from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, and to remastered, that means all the levels, the schoolyards, the beaches, the urban areas, the skate parks, and of course you get the warehouse and the hangar, and all the secrets are there, all of the jumps, all of the skate lines, all the tricks, everything that you would want out of here. They've also added reverts, which were introduced in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, which allow you to kind of extend all of your tricks and blast through the high scores and stuff out there. It was fun to flex all of those muscles and to incrementally beat all of the challenges that you have to do to unlock new areas. You just feel like you're constantly being rewarded with all of the skill points that you can try to find that augment your skater. You've got all kinds of challenges that you have to hit which were tied to the original games, but then the developers at Vicarious Visions and at Vinox added a whole bunch of new challenges to kind of extend the value. But just like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 originally and some of the other games that came after, that 3 was great and 4 had some cool stuff too, these games are forever replayable. It's fun to go back to the PlayStation 1 and play the original releases. They were always great. And so what's awesome is that Vicarious Visions and Vinox started with that. And they also started and said, look, we need to honor the hardcores, the people that have never stopped playing those classic games. We need to give them a reason to invest in this remake, you know? And they did. And so there is this kind of beautiful through line that connects us right to the past in a wonderful, wonderful way. But there's also some great embellishments in here. Of course, you've got the ability to create your own skate parks and share them. You've got uh, the ability to craft your own avatar. They put in a lot of the cast members, a lot of the skaters from the old days, except they've aged them up, which I think is a fantastic statement about the longevity of this franchise, the importance of these athletes, and also their longevity as human beings and their ability to kind of continue killing it even as they've entered into middle age, you know? And I think it's wonderful. It's a statement about how important video games are through time, how important skating is and really living your dreams which clearly that's what Tony Hawk did and then was able to continue doing through projects like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series which he has always said has been incredibly important to his career and so this is really a celebration of all of that and it feels like that there's a heartwarming emotional connection that you have when you play it especially if like me you were there the first time around and you were just blown away by the experience that Neversoft was able to provide for us. That's the real story here. The feature set is huge and it more than justifies the purchase price, which by the way is less expensive than a full price game which is another point in the uh, plus category. There's multiplayer in here, which is a lot of fun as well. You can play local multiplayer, so I actually was able to show this off to my kid, and we played some split screen, which was cool. And there's online multiplayer, and there's a whole bunch of great mini modes like graffiti and tag that continue to add value once you've achieved all of the challenges and stuff. But you know what? That isn't even the story with this game. It's not the feature set even. The story is how it emotionally sort of digs into your heart and into your mind and you viscerally feel like you're on the board and you really feel connected to either the athlete you're playing as or the character that you create and you just don't want to leave this world. You want to unlock all the secrets, you want to pull off all the tricks and you want to play forever, <laughs> which is, you know, it's my credo, it's my motto. And th this game, I think, 
may be one of the best crystallizations of that idea. It just feels so wonderful to lose yourself in it, you know? It's, a, it's much more than an extreme sports game. It's loaded with attitude and loaded with optimism and a sense of humor. And it's so addictive. It creates this compulsion in you to kind of find everything and pull off everything. And then even when you do, you still want to go back and you still want to test it out and you still want to improve and continue to tweak and to challenge yourself on your scores. And of course, there's free skate and there's time challenge modes and those extra challenges and badges and things that you can unlock. And uh, there's a, a skate shop in there. And so far, everything has been microtransaction free. I don't know if there's going to be any new stuff added to this game that challenges that or an update or anything like that. But so far, it's all included and there is a ton of content in here. But I have to tell you, man, I shared this game with my daughter and it's an emotional thing, man. I was there when these games first came out and these were titles that you could point to and say, the games industry is changing. It's going to affect and impact a lot of people and it's going to mean something to a lot of people. And it was very clear that these things were kind of edging out into to a universe unto themselves. They helped to propel skating to the forefront of awareness out there. Tony Hawk has always been the first one to express that. And there was just this amazing connection to an attitude, a subculture that just felt authentic, but also created with a real sense of lightness and humor, you know, just fun. And so it was extraordinary for me to share this with my kid and to see her physically twitching and moving as she was trying to make the jumps and do the spins and, you know, rack up the scores. And this was the first time she's ever played it. I never put the uh, the PlayStation 1 version in front of her. I never put any Tony Hawk games in front of her. She's slowly, you know, getting a crash course on... Uh, well, I guess a crash course doesn't happen slowly, but she's getting, a, a, you know, an education in video game history, and she has no choice by having me as her father. It was really wonderful for me to see her not, not just get addicted to it, but to be transported by it. That's the story of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. You can list off all of the fiscally motivated reasons why you would want to play this thing in 2020, and maybe you had your fill on Tony Hawk games, or you think you did, but I... I still think that there is just so much emotional value and so much real joy to be mined from diving back in. This game also kind of points directly to a simpler time in the video game industry when you bought a game and you got the whole thing. You weren't online all the time. You weren't trying to navigate through an ocean of microtransactions. You weren't always kind of thinking of the value proposition. You were just kind of engaged with your software. And that's what this game brings back. But in true, beautiful fidelity, all of the incredible lighting that's in these games, the awesome details, the crazy cabs that whip around corners that try to, you know, run you over, and the people in golf carts. The exceptional soundtrack in this game, too, and that's almost 50% of the experience, and unfortunately I had to record a lot of my footage without the music playing because I didn't want this review to get flagged like crazy, but trust me, uh, I played a ton with the music, and it's like amping your experience to an 11. The classic tracks are fantastic to hear. I love hearing Millen Collins' uh, No Cigar. I just, I love that song when I first heard it. It's just amazing to hear it again in 2020. But there's also a lot of new music in here, which really just fits and flows. And that's the thing, too. They don't interrupt the flow. It's not like you get your two-minute sort of uh, time challenge, and you try to hit as many things as you can down the list, and then the track is interrupted, and then a new level loads up. They keep the music flowing all the way through it, and it's awesome. You can create your own playlists. Of course, you can customize your own parks and share that. I wish that there was more custom customization with the characters. My daughter even picked up on this. She said that everybody kind of looks the same, all the faces and stuff. And I also wish that Spider-Man, Spider-Man was in uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. What do you think, Spider-Man? Yeah, see, he's lighting up. He wanted Spider-Man and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 as well. Sony, do the right thing. You've got the rights to Spider-Man. At least make Spider-Man an unlockable character on the PlayStation 4 version. That would be awesome. Listen, this game is a must-buy. I think it's in the conversation for best games of 2020. I'm just floored to be playing it again, and this is something that, like the classic Tony Hawk games, I don't want Activision to go back to that yearly slam you with new Tony Hawk kind of schedule, which really kind of hurt the franchise. Just like it did Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed, you can have too much of the same type of experience, and there's got to be a smarter play here. I do want 3 and 4 remastered, though, and I want a new Tony Hawk experience, but we can pace this out. We're going to be playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus two for a long time. This is truly one of the best experiences I've had playing video games in 2020. If the Avatar stuff was a little bit more tuned and it felt a little bit more like you were making the hyper-polished worlds in the build-your-own skate park stuff, 
this would be a full flat out 10 out of 10, but I'm gonna take a 0.5 off because I've got some legitimate quibbles with this. Still, extraordinary, exceptional stuff. Don't hesitate. You probably already picked this game up and you're a smart person if you did. I'm gonna give Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2 this exceptional remake. Thank you, Activision. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10.